All right, how's it going? This is OXDF, and today I am working on Anubis from Hack the Box, and I'm at a point where I've got a CVE in Jamuvi, which is a software I've never seen, um, and there's a page on GitHub written by the author of Anubis, so I feel like I'm in a pretty good place as far as what I'm attacking here, um, and it uh, it doesn't describe the CVE hardly at all. Uh, there's no proof of concept, there's nothing, it's just a one-liner about uh, how it's exploited, and so um, we need to figure out how to exploit this. And, uh, you know, I was talking to Ipsec and telling him I hadn't done this yet. And he said, oh, it's pretty easy. You'll find it very quickly. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to do it live. And, um, we'll see, we'll see if I find it quickly. If I don't, maybe if I don't, this might not be on the internet. Uh, but, uh, with that, let's go ahead and dive in and take a look. I'm going to, I'm going to start here real quick in my, uh, Ubuntu Linux VM. Um, I've got this bugs.omv file that I pulled off of the share. And I'm gonna go ahead and just take a look at it. So if we run file on this, uh, we'll see it's a zip archive. Um, so we can even we can just do unzip. Um, it won't it won't actually autocomplete here. If I tab, you can hear me tabbing. It's not working, but I but I can type it out, um, and it will take it. Uh, you can see so we have a handful of files that pop out here. Let's see what we got. So um, O1 empty. There's an analysis file. So we can just sort of take a peek at some of these files in here. Oops, I'm gonna do that. Let's do analysis. Uh, this looks to be some sort of binary file. Um, don't know what that is. Uh, we, could, we could run file on it. Uh, so what I was trying to do here is alt. If you hold down alt and hit period, it will cycle through uh, the last item on each line going up. So you can see here I got the first it was a dot. Now it's empty analysis. Now it's empty, etc. Um, so I was just trying to use that to pull it back up. Um, interesting. It's an alliant visual executable. Don't know what that is. Uh, we're, we'll probably not. We'll maybe come back to that, but. Let's see what data.bin is. Um, just data. Um, take a look at it. Um, doesn't look super exciting. Cool. Um, so we have an index.html here. This looks... You know, there's some CSS up here. Um, and then... What's this down here? Oh, let's see. Um, I, uh, color scheme. Color scheme. Yeah, there we go. Delic. There we go. I think that's better for YouTube. Um, so this looks almost like a footer, like it's the Jamovi project and it's describing it. It does not look like it's actual data here. So that's not super interesting. Um, I don't know why I did that. And then metadata.json. I'm guessing this is going to be an interesting one. Ah, yeah, here we go. This is cool. Um, so we have a row, a row count, column count. Uh, then our field, so here's a subject. I, so there, I'm guessing we can ch here's, we can change right like this name subject. Um, we're gonna open it up in Jamovi in just a second, so we can compare. But I bet you subject there is education might be one. Um, where else is the name? L LDLF, um, HDLF. I wonder if these are column titles. So because there's a column type here as well. So we'll, we'll check that out in a minute. Maybe if we need to come back in here and edit, we can. Um, anything in there? Manifest. Nothing exciting. Jim X data. Okay. Um, all right. So we know what this looks like. Uh, now we're going to jump over into a Windows VM. So here we are jumping over to Win a Windows VM. Um, I've got this Jamovi installer that I already ran. Um, I figured you guys didn't want to watch me uh, install for a few minutes. Um, I've got the bugs.omv file, and now I've got a shortcut to that as well. Um, I've got the page up here I mentioned earlier. This is the page. Um, so you can see the two authors of the CM CVE. Um, this one right here, 4NQR34Z, is the author of Anubis. So again, anytime I find a CVE by the author of a box on Hack the Box, I'm thinking I'm probably in the right spot. Uh, so let's see. It doesn't, doesn't say a lot. So it says it's affected by cross-site scripting vulnerability. And it says the column name is vulnerable to XSS within the Electron JS framework. So that's going to be the information we're going to need here. Um, attacker can make a bad, a bad one. And when it's opened by a victim, it's triggered. Um, so, and if you watch this YouTube video, it literally just shows they open it up and then there's execution. Uh, there's actually a callback to their server. So um, we will try to replicate that. So let's first take a look at Jamovi here. Um, I have opened this up already. I, I, this is hilarious right here. I don't know if you can read this, but it says, we found a security issue with this version of Jamovi, and out of an abundance of caution, we recommend you update to a newer version when you can. Uh, you can continue to use it, but advise you not to open data files from sources you do not trust until you update to a newer version. Sorry for the inconvenience. Um, so I think that's true. We're going to prove that. Um, but after that, I mean, this looks like a, 
Excel kind of program where you can put some sort of data analysis in here um, with different columns. Um, you can, we, can, we can edit a column high title here. That'll be useful. Um, so let's close this one and open up bugs and see what we got here. Um, yeah, so this is, we were looking in that JSON file and we saw these different uh, LDLF and HT, you know, these are the different column headers, subject, uh, I think we saw gender. Um, so those are definitely the column headers. So we could go back into unzip it, go in there in, in our Linux VM and edit it. Um, I'm just gonna try editing it here though. It seems as good a reason as any. Um, one thing I do like to do, I wanna keep my original file here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and create a copy. Um, that way, if I screw it up somehow, I can always have a good copy to go back to. Um, let's mess up gender here. Uh, so this is available with XSS. So let's go ahead and put in a SCRIPT uh, alert one script and see what happens. Um, we're not getting a pop-up. The page did say it was on uh, opening. So let's see if we can save this. That's good. And reopen it and see if we get a pop-up. Yes. All right. So we got our Jamovie and there's our alert one. Um, and that seemed to work pretty well. Uh, let's go ahead now and see if we can push it a little further. Um, can I edit this again? Yes. Okay. I guess I didn't really actually, oops. The arrow keys do not, does not like to, let's see. Uh, try setup. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Setup. Can I edit you? I can't type in here. Huh. Somehow I've locked this. This is why we keep, we want to keep an original version. So let's try this again, because we know it worked before. Okay, double click there. And this time we're going to do script uh, source equals, and we will just do HTTP. Uh, let's see if we can run a Python server on this box or if we have to talk to our Windows box. Uh, Python minus V. Okay, we do have Python 3. So we have Python minus M HTTP, HTTP server. Uh, we'll just run there on port 8000. So we can now do 127.001. 8000 exploit.js. Close that and we close the script tag because that is what HTML likes us to do. And now that looks good. So we will save, we'll close this, save it, reopen it, and see if we get a connection. We got a connection. We got a connection here for exploit.js. 404 did not return. That's not surprising. Uh, if we click on it, it's still looking good. So let's see if we can uh, run shell command. Uh, this was electron. Run shell command in electron. That sounds good. Um, run shell command in electron. I've done this before clearly. Uh, so there's a child, child process and then child process.spawn. That looks simple enough. Let's see. Kind of hiding behind my camera here. Um, we will do require, my JavaScript is not strong here, child process, I think we can just do spawn like that, and we will put in calc.exe, because that's what would be a good exploit demo if we did not pop a calc, All right, and we need to pull, uh, what folder are we in, I think we're just in my home directory here, so let's into oxdf, we'll call this exploit.js, we'll make this a Java, not Java, Java scripts. There we go. Save. You probably can't, this is probably impossible to see. You guys have to trust me on this one. Uh, that says, that's pretty simple. It just says required child process spawn calc.exe. And with that, let's see, I guess we don't even need to change our bugs copy. We can just open it and see if we get a. So. Did not like that. Uh, control shift escape. Kill that. Um, let's do this since we had weirdness when it opened a second time. Let's, oops, I don't want to, let's make this copy again. Go back in here and do the same thing and see if we can figure out if we can make this work. Um, so we're going to do script source equals HTTP 127.001 because we know we, we know it made the contact before and this time it didn't even it didn't even make the request to us so something got kind of messed up um, so that looks good 
script, script, script. Okay. We'll shorten that. Close you. Save. And reopen. See what happens. It's the RIPT source. SRC HTTP 127 port 8000. We didn't get we didn't give it a split.js this time. Uh, let's try that. Okay, we saved it. Close it. Oh, for some reason, it's no longer hitting us. SCRIPT source equals. Did we close the script properly? Is it bailing out somehow? SCR script. That looks good. Well, this is odd because we definitely got a we definitely got a connection back to this before, right? Cool. Am I doing weird? Weird. Uh, let's try this one more time. Could it have been my server was being weird. I said we can get. Oh, we got a connection. Oh, and we got a calc. All right. I don't quite know what happened in there, but uh, just shows you, sometimes computers are weird. Um, so we did get the connection for exploit.js and we ran the calculator, which is what we were hoping for. Um, so I think this is pretty simple. Um, one thing we might want to do that might be interesting real quick to check out, close that, close our calc. We got two calcs now. Um, what happens if we seven zip open archive this? And I'm going to guess it's in metadata.json and, oh, it's some, is it alt shift F? Yes. Okay. All right, cool. Um, yeah, so check this out. This is right in, um, what am I? Yeah. So here's our, our, uh, so sorry, I did Alt Shift F in uh, Visual Studio Code to just pretty print my JSON. Um, and so you can see here, data set, row count, and then it's this fields very thing array starts here. And now the various items in the array, there's the subject. And then here's the next one, just the gender and where we added in this our nice little payload. Um, it's good to know we needed to, if we had done this in uh, just by hand, we would want to make sure we escape the quotes. Um, yeah, so I think it would have been just as good to unzip this, make this change in the, what is this, metadata.json file, and then save it, rezip it, and we'd be just as good. Uh, but it seems to work either way, so. Cool. With that, um, I won't, won't drag this on any longer. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you next time.